Hey, I'm Eric Lee with Starfish Coaching and Designers Business Academy, and thank you for joining me back on my channel. In my last few episodes, I talked about getting out of the trap of the business owner and building a business that can bring you revenue with very little of your involvement. One important aspect of this is to start working on the business. Well, you've probably heard that before, but what does it really mean? Imagine a group of explorers caught in the thick jungle of the Amazon. They're led by a captain who's trying to find their way out, but the force is so thick they can't find their way. They're whacking away at it. They're chopping down bushes and trying to find the path out. And eventually they come back to a clearing that they recognize and they realize that they've been going in circles. So over and over again, they're trying to find their way out, but they can't. And then suddenly, they see this wise old man in front of them and the old man says, go find that tallest tree in the jungle and climb it. When you get up there, look through and let me what you see. The captain did exactly that. What he realized is when he was able to pause and stop all of the crazy hectic things that he's doing and go find that tall tree where he can look beyond the whole forest, he found his way out. He saw right through the forest and realized that that is the direction that he needs to be going towards. And right away he came down and led his team to their exit path. In this analogy, the captain represents the business owner, while the old man symbolizes the act of working on the business, gaining clarity and strategic insight to navigate through the complexities of business building. So a simple way to distinguish between working in the business type of work and working on the business is anything that keeps the business going day to day, including not only the technician work, but also the execution and the management of the work that is in the business. But working on the business is anything that is high level and strategic. These are tasks that will guide the business like marketing strategies, sales strategies, product development, research, and visioning. Here's why it's so vital to start working on the business. But before that, let's discuss why you want to limit your time to be working in the business. One, burnout and stagnation. Constantly being immersed in daily operations can lead to burnout and hinder your ability to see the bigger picture. This can result in stagnation and missed growth opportunities. Remember, working on the business rejuvenates your perspective and can reignite your passion for your venture. Two, limited innovation. Focusing solely on day-to-day -day tasks leaves little room for innovation. Businesses that neglect innovation risk falling behind in a rapidly changing marketplace. Remember, innovation is often the driving force behind long-term success. Three, miss opportunities. When you're buried in the minutia, you may miss crucial opportunities or fail to adapt to market shifts. Remember, working on the business helps you stay agile and seize opportunities as they arise. Four, reduce resilience. A business that relies solely on the owner for decision making and operations is vulnerable. Working on the business empowers your team and builds resilience. Remember, a well-prepared team can navigate challenges even when you're not present, and that's the key. So here's the benefits of working on the business and how you can do it effectively. One, strategic clarity. When you're mired in the daily operations, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Working on the business gives you the opportunity to reassess your goals, refine your strategies, and ensure that every action aligns with a long-term vision. The action point for you here is to schedule dedicated strategy sessions where you evaluate your business's direction set long-term goals, and establish actionable steps to achieve them. Two, problem prevention. In the jungle, the captain might lead his group into traps or dangerous territory without even realizing it because he hasn't seen past the thick forest. Similarly, by constantly working in the business, you risk overlooking potential problems or opportunities that could make or break your company. So the action point here is to make a habit of conducting regular risk assessments to identify potential issues and devise proactive solutions. 
Three, innovation and growth. Innovation is the key to staying competitive in today's rapidly evolving business landscape. So working on the business creates space for creativity and innovation. You can explore new ideas, technologies, and markets, paving the way for sustainable growth. So the action point here is to foster a culture of innovation within your organization. Encourage your team to brainstorm new ideas and allocate resources for research and development. Four, efficiency and streamlining. Sometimes you're so deep in the jungle that you miss the shorter and more efficient paths. Working on the business allows you to identify areas where processes can be streamlined, costs can be reduced, and resources can be optimized. So the action here, regularly review your business processes and workflows. Seek feedback from your team to uncover bottlenecks and inefficiencies. Five, empowering your team. Delegating responsibilities and empowering your team to make decisions is crucial. By working on the business, you can develop and refine systems that enable your team to operate more effectively, reducing your workload and enhancing overall productivity. The action? Invest in leadership development for your team members and establish clear delegation protocols. Trust your team to take ownership of their roles. Six, self-improvement. Consider seeking guidance from mentors or business coaches who can help you gain fresh perspectives and refine your business strategies. So take action and explore mentorship programs or join business networks to connect with your experienced entrepreneurs who can provide value insights. I've always found that I'm the biggest bottleneck in my business growth. So if I can develop myself first internally, then that frees up the growth for my business. Seven, stay informed. Keep up with industry trends and market developments. Continuously learning ensures that you're well prepared to make informed decisions. So the action, set aside time for industry research and professional development. Attend conferences, webinars, and seminars to stay updated. I know we get busy many times and we just push that to the side, but it's so important to do. In conclusion, just like the old man in the forest, taking time to work on the business is not a luxury, it's a necessity for long-term success. By gaining that higher perspective, you can lead your business out of the jungles and towards a brighter future, avoiding burnout and stagnation. I hope this episode gives you some clarity on what you need to do for your business. If this helped you, then please pass it on to others so that it can help them too. Also, make sure you're following my channel because we are committed to providing you with valuable insights and support on your journey to building business excellence. I'm Eric Lee with Starfish Coaching and I can turbocharge your success.